Today is Thursday, September 24th, 2020. And how we're going to write that is ninth month, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dash twenty four dash twenty. Again, that's nine dash twenty four dash twenty. All right. So if today is Thursday, that means yesterday was. Eli O, what was yesterday? Tuesday. So look here. We're going to go back one day. Can you look on the calendar and see what was one day ago? Wednesday? Wednesday. Nice job. Yesterday was Wednesday. If yesterday was Wednesday and today is Thursday, tomorrow will be Etsyana. Here's today. Tomorrow will be Friday. Friday. Nice job, Etsyana. Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. Okay, we're going to sing the days of the week. So get your snaps ready. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 One more time. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Okay, make sure you're standing again. We're going to do months of the year. This is the ninth month, September. All right, here we go. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year, and we all turn around. One more time. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year, and we all sit down. Okay, we're going to figure out how many days we've been in school. So I want you guys to look over on the chart. And this is showing how many days in school from yesterday. So we need to add another X, and if you would like to tell me how many days we've been in school, go ahead and hit the raise hand button. So this is yesterday. So when you get done counting, add one more. Landon, I see your hand raised. How many days have we been in school? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Will you help me count and we'll add that we'll add today's, okay? Here we go. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 
17 and 18. 18. All right. Thank you very much, Landon. How do we write 18? What goes in the tens? One. Good job. And in the ones? Eight. Eight. Nice job, Landon. So we have one group of tens, eight little ones. Nice job. All right. Now I need help with the weather. What is the weather like today? Go ahead and look out your window and help me decide. Okay. Sophia, I see your hand is raised. Sophia, what's today's weather like? Partly cloudy because I'm with Smokey. I agree. Partly cloudy. So I'm going to get my partly cloudy card. Just like this, Sophia? Yeah. Good job. Partly cloudy. So I'm going to add that to our chart. Partly cloudy. Teacher. Nice job. Teacher. Yes, Kieran. It's like it's it's more like somebody put a fire out. It does. It, it smells, smells like, like it, it smells, smells like, like a, a campsite, campsite fire, fire outside. I agree. Yeah. Thank you. I need one more helper to help me decide what season it is. We need to figure out the season. So it's either winter, spring, fall, or summer. Um, let's see. I'm looking to see who's using the raise hand button and being super respectful. Satan, what season is it? No, no Sophia. Sophia. I, I live, live in Ontario. Ontario. I live oh, in Ontario. Ontario. Yeah, I made it. So, boys and girls, I called it's on called Zayden. Me. So I need I need to just hear Zayden's voice. Yeah. Fall. Fall. Okay, Zayden, is this fall? Um, no. No? Is this fall? No. Is this fall? No. How about this one? Yes. Good job. Fall. All right, boys and girls, today we have a read a littlest pumpkin. So because we are switching seasons to fall, we decided to do some more um, books around different seasons like Halloween and um, just some books that help us think about what the weather's changing like and things like that. So. Our story is by R.A. Herman, that person is the author, illustrated by Bettina Ogden. That is the person that did the pictures, and I really like the pictures in this book. Barlet's Farm Stand. It was Halloween and there were 18 pumpkins left at Barlet's farm stand. The pumpkins looked their very best because they all wanted to be taken home and made into jolly jack-o'-lanterns. The littlest pumpkin had the biggest dreams of all. She saw herself shining in the dark with ghosts, monsters, witches, and fairies gathered around her singing a Halloween song. And today was the day when all her dreams were going to come true. So there she is with everyone. Maggie dropped by the stand on her way to school, just as it was opening. I want the biggest pumpkin for, 
you have for my class party, she said, looking at the pumpkins on display. She didn't even glance at the littlest pumpkin. The pumpkin Maggie chose was so big, Mr. Bartlett had to help her put it in her mother's car. Look at that pumpkin. Then the twins arrived. Jess wanted the roundest, fattest pumpkin. Jen wanted the tallest, skinniest pumpkin. They both knew exactly what they wanted their jack-o'-lanterns to look like. Later that morning, Mrs. Garland's class came to the farm stand to buy apples and pumpkins for their Halloween party. The littlest pumpkin was very excited when she saw all the children. Now certainly, I will be chosen by someone and made into a jack-o'-lantern, she thought. But no one chose the littlest pumpkin. You see her down there? She's sad. All day long, people came to the farm stand to buy pumpkins. Mr. Potter ran in to choose a pumpkin for his daughter, Kate. Poor Kate was home with the flu, but she had drawn pictures for her dad so he could see exactly what kind of pumpkin she wanted. Mr. Potter looked at every single pumpkin until he found the right one. So there's the pumpkin, Kate's pumpkin. The sun began to set and only four pumpkins were left at the farm stand. One pumpkin had a bruise on its back. One pumpkin was lumpy and bumpy. One pumpkin didn't have a stem. And the last pumpkin was the littlest pumpkin. The littlest pumpkin still had big dreams. She would be a beautiful jack-o'-lantern at a Halloween party. She would shine in the dark with ghosts, monsters, witches, and fairies gathered around her singing a Halloween song. But while the littlest pumpkin was dreaming, Gabe and Mona arrived. They ran up to the four remaining pumpkins. Gabe grabbed the stemless one. So he's going to cover it with a hat. You see that? Perfect, he said. My jack-o'-lantern is going to wear this hat. Mona picked up the littlest pumpkin. Oh, how cute, she said. The littlest pumpkin was so happy. All her dreams were going to come true. But it's too small for me to carve into a jack-o'-lantern, said Mona, putting it down. Then she picked up the lumpy, bumpy one instead. Now this one is perfect. Soon it was dark and the stars began to sparkle in the sky. Mr. Bartlett was cleaning up. Oh, please don't close yet, thought the littlest pumpkin. I must be a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. Suddenly, Mr. Bartlett heard someone calling his name. Mr. Bartlett! Mr. Bartlett! It was Sam. Please wait, said Sam. I need a pumpkin for my party tonight. Mr. Bartlett picked up the bruised pumpkin and told Sam that if he turned it around, it would make a very nice jack-o'-lantern. Sam agreed, and, and with that, Mr. Bartlett closed the farm stand. So there in the dark on Halloween night sat the littlest pumpkin. She was all alone. Or so she thought.
or just when the littlest pumpkin was sure she was going to be spending Halloween night all alone in the empty farm stand, mice started scurrying around her. They were decorating everything, wearing tiny costumes, and carrying all sorts of Halloween goodies. And before the littlest pumpkin knew what was happening... What do you think is going to happen? She found herself in the middle of a Halloween party. Mice dressed in costumes were bobbing for cranberries, playing pin the tail on the squirrel, and eating cheese and crumbs. Then the best thing of all happened. The littlest pumpkin was turned into a jack-o'-lantern. She was shining in the dark with ghosts, monsters, witches, and fairies gathered around her singing a Halloween song. And all her big dreams had come true on Halloween night. The end. Okay, boys and girls, what did you think of that story? Was it a good one? So, a couple of your reminders today. It was good? Awesome. So, today you guys have pick up, packet pickup. So, 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock, you're going to come get your new packets. I had put a note in there last week about making sure that you are returning the bag that it comes in, the folder that it, that we put everything in, and then you want to make sure that you're returning your library book so you can get a brand new one, and you want to make sure that you are returning all of your stuff that your teacher asks. So for me, it would be your writing books, both classes writing books, any math assignments, and you can find all of this stuff, boys and girls, on the schedule. So if your parents are ever wondering, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to return. I have it in red on the right side of the schedule under the Friday, the Friday spot. So you can see everything on there that you need to return. Uh, Senorita Garcia, do you have anything? Uh, nope. nope. It's the same to my group. Okay, so make sure that you check your schedule. Make sure you return everything that you need, and if you have any questions, um, we can always respond on the Google Voice number. So if your parents have any questions, they can write us. And that's all we have today for the calendar. So.